Now it's time for On Point, where we speak to experts to delve deeper into the biggest news stories in this spotlight right now. It was one of the most highly anticipated meetings of the year. The Federal Open Market Committee met for two days this week to determine how aggressively the Federal Reserve will pursue interest rate hikes in light of the soaring inflation in the U.S. as well as Russia's war against Ukraine. The Fed had the inenviable task of trying to guide American monetary policy through a period of turbulence not seen in many a decade. Prior to the meeting, experts said the war and its impact on global inflation may have complicated the Fed's plans, but they forecast it wouldn't be enough for the Fed to deviate significantly anyway from its stated path of tightening monetary policy. In the end, the Fed announced a quarter of a percentage interest rate hike on Wednesday, the first increase since 2018. Prices in the U.S. have increased 7.9 percent over the past year, the fastest rate of inflation since 1982. Last month, prices were up 0.8 percent, an acceleration from January. For more, we connect to Professor Song Suyang of Chungang University in Seoul. Good morning, Professor. Hey, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Now, um, first, I would ask, did anything surprise you about the Fed's decision? Uh, not at all, uh, because it is already uh, predicted, but uh, less than uh, the expectation of the, some uh, market uh, practitioners and uh, some academists, because uh, some people uh, have argued that a 0.5 percentage point increase or so more in, uh, short-term interest rate in hike is expected, but it is exactly what uh, the uh, moderate economists and uh, academicians has expected. So this is right on the path. Okay, and do you think that the Fed's move uh, really does enough to limit the impact on the U.S. economy and financial markets of the ongoing geopolitical tensions surrounding Ukraine um, as well as uh, soaring inflation. Do you think they took the easy route or do you think they took the right route? Yeah, uh, because of the uh, Russia and Ukraine war, actually the pressure on the hike of interest rate has been relieved for the Fed perspective because uh, there is a huge pressure to increase the uh, interest rate, the short-term interest, are much uh, higher. But because of the war, and uh, then uh, most of the world, and uh, it, particularly in U.S., uh, uh, they are concerned about the uh, upcoming imminent uh, recession because of the war, in addition to the, some supply disruption uh, originated from the, some conflict of uh, trade between U.S. and China. Therefore, uh, actually, this is a uh, uh, easier for the Fed to determine uh, some 0.52 percentage point increase of uh, the federal funds rate and uh, expected to be uh, six more times in the by the end of the 2022. 20, uh, 2022. So this is, uh, uh, I think, most appropriate and uh, very uh, considerate uh, decision of, uh, over the uh, interest rate and uh, because uh, it is uh, quite a uh, balanced uh, uh, approach to the because uh, both we have to find uh, some optimal or trade-off relationship between the re uh, recession and then uh, control of the inflation. Now, Professor, um, the Fed also discussed when it will start pairing the bond holdings on its roughly um, nine trillion dollar uh, balance sheet, mm -hmm. but still a lot remains up in the air. So. When do you think we will have a clear picture of the Fed's roadmap to start reducing its holdings? Uh, I think they, because if the Fed decided to sell all those uh, purchased shocks, uh, purchased uh, bonds uh, to the market, that could uh, lift a uh, very high pressure on the pr uh, pressure on the price. So therefore, uh, in which could increase the uh, some yield. So that means that in the long term, interest rate has been uh, pressured to be increased also. So that is not good for the Fed uh, because of the, that could uh, change the uh, people's uh, 
uh, inflation expectation in terms of the long-term interest rate. Therefore, I don't think it will be imminent to sell off those uh, purchased uh, uh, bonds in the market uh, to the market at all. So, but anyway, they stop purchasing and then uh, they try to normalize the, their balance sheet or Fed balance sheet, uh, but uh, quite. Uh, moderately and a little bit slowly. That's all I expect right now. Yeah, some analysts are saying we might have a clearer picture sometime in the summer. Uh, but finally, mm -hmm. I just wanted to um, get your opinion because the Fed and the Biden administration outwardly are saying, look, we're slightly concerned about inflation, um, but do you think they are more concerned than they're letting on? Initially, people like Janet Yellen and Jerome Powell were saying, this period of inflation was nothing more than a transitory phase, uh, but now they're finally admitting that it's here to stay and could potentially get worse in the months uh, to come. Uh, in your opinion, just how bad do you think inflation could become in the US over the course of this year? Uh, considering the market situation and the data, I'm still on the side of the transitory, but uh, trans transitory uh, effect of uh, inflation is uh, a little bit longer than expected. That is uh, surely uh, true. Uh, but uh, considering the oil price change and uh, some possibility of the recession, then the, as you see in the market, the future price of the Western Texas Intermediate and the Brent has uh, been declined, uh, uh, has declined uh, sharply. So. That means that uh, in the market, well, we are very concerned about the upcoming uh, recession. Therefore, that's why the U.S. Uh, uh, Federal, Reserve, uh, Federal Reserve decided to uh, decide on the middle of the point of interest rate uh, hike. So uh, the Biden administration, they have uh, tried to uh, Encourage the economy and uh, grow the economy in the uh, in the right path on the because they have to pass the legislation of the Build Back Better plan uh, through the Congress. So uh, the current situation is a little bit in the middle of the uh, uncertainty, but uh, still it is the most appropriate way to overcome uh, the upcoming inflation. And I. On the, I still believe that uh, the inflation is transitory. Once the supply chain will be, is resolved, then the inflation uh, problem is not any more serious threat against the world economy and the U.S. economy. Right. Professor, thank you so much for your insights. This was yeah. Professor Song Siyang of Chungang University. Thank you again. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you.